Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get and correctly set up TVMate app on your Fire Stick or Android TV. If you didn't know, TVMate is one of the best Fire Stick IPTV players, which you can use in 2025. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get it to your Amazon Fire Stick device. So now the first step you gotta take is get the app code downloader to your Fire Stick, if you don't already have it. Also, we'll need to turn on the developer options on your device. So to do that, first of all, we'll go to search on the Fire Stick by clicking this little button with a magnifying glass icon. Then you open the search bar and use that keyboard right here to start entering downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. You click on it and here is the app which we need to get to your Fire Stick. But after you got downloader, it's not ready to use yet, because we still need to set it up for your Fire TV Stick. So to stop downloader, we'll go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon, then just scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Let's open it. And now in here, what we are looking for are the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you are unable to locate developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And you have to do it fast, so let's do it. Keep clicking until it says that you have become a developer now. As you can see, in my case, it said that there is no need for that because I was already the developer. But in your case, it is going to say that you have become a developer now. So go back then, and now you should see the developer options, which have popped out for us right there. Open them, then you have to locate ADB debugging, turn that option on. After that, go to install unknown apps. And from here, all we need to do now is locate the downloader and turn this option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we are going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go back to the list of fire apps near Fire Stick. Here it is. Let's just open it. And now, there you will find the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's an app which allows you to stay totally safe and anonymous online by simply connecting to any of the locations that you can see in the app. So in my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great price for us, the users. In the VPN app, just connect to any server. Let's say we'll connect to Hungary right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And it is really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. 
that's my website which is going to give you the same amazing deal for an RDPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally, let's use Downloader safely. So let's head back to the list of apps on your device, open it up, and finally, let's use Downloader here. So we open the Downloader application on the Fire TV stick, and here you will see this search bar, which we can open, and then a keyboard will appear on your screen. So there you can either enter a link or a code, which will lead us to the TV Made application. In our case, today we'll be entering a link to the official website of TV Made IPTV Player. So the link will be tvmade.com. That's pretty simple. So once again, tvmade. Dot com. So here we go, that's the link that you need to enter. Take a good look at the screen and make sure to enter it without any mistakes. Because obviously if you make a mistake, then the link will not work. Then click on go and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you will get even more videos about fire sticks. And by the way, it also helps me a lot. So please do subscribe to my channel. And then this website will appear. It's the official website of TVMate IPTV Player. You just have to scroll it down a bit until you see the download APK button. Click on it, and now the download of TVMate will start. As you can see, that took us only a couple of seconds. And the next step is installing the TVMate Player. So we click install and just wait for a couple of seconds until it is finished. And after that, I actually do not recommend clicking open straight away because there is a better way to do that. So instead, we're going to click done. And this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick. So just click on delete and delete once again. This way you get rid of the unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's super important, because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now let's head back to the list of apps on your device. So here it is, open it, wait a moment for it to load, and there at the bottom you will see the TVMate app, which we have downloaded. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. It is the button with three horizontal lines right next to the home button on your Fire Stick remote. So you click on it and press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's gonna be pretty easy for you to access this app every time you need it. Just do not forget to keep the VPN connected to stay totally safe and out of trouble online. Once again, a link to get NordVPN will be in the description of this video. Then feel free to open TVMate because obviously you need to set it up on your device. And it is really simple. So the first step is click on the Add a Playlist button. And there it all depends on your IPTV provider now as there are thousands of different IPTV providers in the world and it's totally up to you which one to choose. But they will give you either an M4U code and if you give you such a code, you have to click on M4U playlist here, click on it, then click on enter URL and just enter the link which was given to you by your live TV provider. Then you click on next and the playlist of Live TV will appear in your TVMate application. Alternatively, your Live TV provider could also give you an Xtreme code. It's an option as well. In that case, you would click on Xtreme codes and then enter the link which they gave you, but they also are going to give you a username and a password, which you also have to enter here in the app. So enter all that data which was given to you 
click on next and the playlist will also appear. So that's the easy way to get TV made on your Fire Stick in 2025 and totally set it up for IPTV. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.